amazing. I showed that I can cook more than Indian cuisine. I know it's a big risk, but I'm just hoping my dish takes me up to the balcony. Describe this, please. So I did a pan-fried red snapper with cilantro lime rice, salsa verde, nopale salad, and a shrimp ceviche. Mother-in-law, the curry's off the menu. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do it. I can, so I can. can. It looks super clean and flavorful. I think you take a big risk, you know, especially going away from Indian foods, which are generally saucy. So I hope that you have the seasoning and the zing behind it, because there's no sauce to hide behind on this dish. Gents, how'd you cook the snapper? I marinated it in a little lime juice. I put some diced shallots, some Mexican oregano, and then I just pan fried it in some oil. Mmm. Wow. How'd you cook the snapper? The snapper, I marinated it in a little lime juice. I put some diced shallots and then some Mexican oregano. And then I just pan fried it in some oil. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Shari, it's super well seasoned. Great balance of uh, salinity and acidity in all the preparations. The ceviche might be the best part of the dish. It's got like my whole mouth stimulated and ready to eat more. It almost makes the rest of the dish taste better. Thank Bravo. you, Joe. Your nopales, for someone that doesn't use it quite often, you did a great job with them. They're still crunchy, they're acidic. If you turn around and told me that you'd be cooking cactus like this tonight, three weeks ago, I'd never believed you. So here's the fascinating thing about you. You're out of your comfort zone, but you're actually on top of your game. Fish are cooked beautifully. But the pop is a ceviche. It's just mind-blowing. Very good. You can cook outside India, and let me tell you, great job. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nick, let's go. Oh, boy, Nick. Come on, Nick. Um, I feel fantastic. I've put a lot of thought into the dish. It's beautiful, it's colorful, it's bold. I took a lot of risk in, in, in making such a complex dish. Nick, describe the dish, please. So tonight I made a Brazilian cheese bread taco with a corn salsa and a skirt steak on top with prawn aioli. You didn't play safe. A Brazilian cheese tortilla. Yeah. How difficult are they on a scale of one to 10? Oh, first of all, they're tempestuous. You gotta get in there, and the fact that you did this is so bold, young man. Thank you, Chef. I think the ceviche presentation is the best of the evening. It looks like a ceviche that would come from a restaurant. What's in there? So I have the snapper, and then I have some uh, lime supremes, a little bit of mango, nectar, shaved radish, and passion fruit. The ceviche is good, you went overboard on the scotch bonnet. You really need to, to tone that down, young man. What did you marinate the steak in? Uh, I wrapped it around some cinnamon before I cooked it, and then I also just did classic salt, pepper, a little bit of olive oil. What you've done with that cheese, tortilla, and marinate the steak, delicious. Nick, this is a cool, smart, very intellectual take on a surf and turf with the prawn aioli. I mean, really high thinking, great tasting stuff. Thanks, Joe. Good job. Well Good done. Job. Thank you. I tried to go above and beyond what the judges were expecting. And so seeing them actually love the dish was amazing. It just sort of validates it more for me that I deserve to be in the MasterChef kitchen. Brie, please come forward. Yay! I'm proud of my dish. I took the curveball and I executed that to perfection. I really do think I'll be in that top three. Describe the dish, please. I made a pan-seared snapper with a cilantro and coconut foam and roasted potatoes. You dress food beautifully. Thank you know, you. it's like your hair. There's not a hair out of place. <laughs> but it's almost like you're trying to send a message to us or to put us on a diet. We can't eat whole portions, <laughs> by the way. Why so small? Well, chef, whenever I've personally traveled to a super fine dining restaurant, it's many, many tastings that you're doing. So it is meant to be smaller portions. Sure. Shall we? Oh, for that should be shy. What's the marinade? I did a mango syrup, and I also did plenty of lime juice, lots of salt and pepper, myco cilantro, and um, mango. Uh, Ceviche is delicious. Let's get that right. On point, seasoned, fruity, exotic, everything you want. 
How'd you cook the potatoes? I roasted them in the oven and I tossed them with olive oil, plenty of salt, plenty of pepper, and smoked paprika. Yeah, I think you cooked the fish perfectly. I think there's no debate in that. I just feel like this doesn't really represent your aesthetic very well. I saw them on the Latin table and I wanted to incorporate as many of those Latin ingredients as I can. But there's other ingredients in there that go way better. A chipotle roasted corn puree under that fish would have been absolutely spot on. Creamy, rich, spicy. But great finesse. So be sure one of the best of the night. Thank you. Good job, awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank chefs. you, chefs. It is extremely pertinent to stand out at this stage in the competition. So it feels great to impress the judges and show that I can be a front runner in this competition. The final dish, Wuta. Good job. Let's go. For the first time ever, I feel really good about this dish. I feel like I nailed the plating, I feel like I nailed the flavors, and most importantly, I feel like I'm finally showing the judges I'm a strong competitor and I can rise to the top. So what's up, describe the dish, please. Uh, so I have a uh, swordfish pan seared with a mango, onion, and pepper salsa with a spicy cilantro, black beans, and a yuca. For a ceviche, there's the blood orange, the lemon orange, tomatoes, basil, and then I have the swordfish in there. And there you have me on a plate. Fantastic. Here's the big surprise about you. You're vegetarian. So who's guiding you on this, or is it just tribal error? It's feeling. I know when food's cooked, and I put the fish in my mouth a little bit and spit it out. It was really good. Here's the deal with the, the ceviche is bright and, and super tasty. Which I just have to say that if you had a restaurant, I would become your regular customer because I like your style and it just makes me want to come back and reserve at Wuta's place again. Mm -hmm. Good job. Thank you, Joe. Good, good job. job. That is really good, the yuca. Next time, to get them cooked properly, smash them and then fry them. Okay. So it's almost like huge yeah, chips, right. crispy outside, crispy in. But I just love the fact you've got unclamorous ingredients, elevated them to the major league. Were you nervous cooking in front of Alexandra? No. For the first time, I wasn't actually nervous. It was crazy. There was no sweating. I felt very poised. So to get the best out of you going forward in this competition, every night we have to bring in a supermodel. That would be great, Chef. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Thank you, Good Chef. Job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Good you. job. Okay, thank you very much. We need a moment to discuss 